is. There it is. Hello. Good evening. As you can see, it is growing dark swiftly. We should probably turn a light on in here sometime soon. But maybe Moody is appropriate, because we're going to play some Moody Subnautica. Are we going to do something dangerous? Maybe. I've been very unpredictable lately. Sometimes I think I'm going to do something dangerous, and I just end up completely rearranging my base for two hours. And then sometimes I'm like, this is going to be a chill stream, and then I just go deep. Um, so, <coughs> ow, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Um, last time I did a major... I started building the rocket, and I did a major rehaul of my secondary base to kind of make it a little more efficient, because it was starting to get a little sprawling. Um, there's still a few last little tasks to do on that end, but then we might go exploring, because our next step for building the rocket requires nickel, and we have never seen nickel before. So we gotta go someplace new, I guess. Um, <clears throat> and there are a couple new places I know of. They're scary, but we can maybe do them. I'm gonna try out the, the Stompy a little bit, the prawn suit. We'll see if I like it better than the sea moth in terms of something to carry around with the, um, in the Cyclops, but I don't know. We shall see, we shall see. Oh, that's right. I'm going to be deconstructing this one in favor of these guys. But I gotta wait for these guys to finish growing so I can take them out and then plant melons in the remaining spots. <coughs> I'll like take this one out and plant melons and then take this one out and plant Chinese potatoes. The only downside now is I don't have a good exit into the um, into the open. I might see if I can just put one there. Um, because seems like the best place to put it if I was going to put it somewhere it would be right here. Right? It doesn't want to build, but maybe that's because of the, um, the which my face is in the way. The guys. The, the lockers. I'm going to see if I take out the lockers if it'll let me draw a hat in there. Welcome aboard, Captain. On the off chance. Boop. And I got a lot of locker space that I haven't done anything with yet. And I still have to organize it, but I don't know if I'm going to organize it right now. I might do that off stream. That seems like an off stream sort of task. <coughs> are gone. Will it let me? Draw. Boop, boop. Uh, keep one. Good to have one extra battery. Hey, it 
does. Nice. Okay. That seems like a good alternative to being able to come and go on the island. It's so <coughs> and they'll mostly be coming in on the moon bay, probably. That's still at only 64%. guys are at what percent? It won't tell me. Hey, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's a pretty nice looking base. It's got four entrances, including the moon pool. It's not too complex to get around. It's got some nice decorations and plants and things. Do I go and come back when I have things? Or I, do I wait for the plants to grow and spend some time dropping in some stuff here? Alright, let's do um, quartz and titanium in this one. And um, other min non-wealth minerals. This can be the misc chest for miscellaneous like the equipment and the food and some of these extras oh I need one of those um, you are quartz and titanium you are miscellaneous non-wealth mineral um, okay you are clearly copper um, so this can be Wealth Mineral 1. Uh, yeah. And this might have to be Wealth Mineral 2. Because uh, I think I'm going to need a lot of that. Here's a miscellaneous other mineral. Does sulfur count as a mineral? I don't know what the technical definition of a mineral is, but I'm going to leave the sulfur there. Uh, you are miscellaneous, so you can get... Um, nope, that's the wrong direction for things. There we go. Um, I will probably need, like, plant and animal matter, though. These are both wealth. So, we'll get this other stuff. You can be miscellaneous plant and animal. You can be miscellaneous equipment. Uh, and, and other created things. One thing extra of this. Oop, nope, not that. Uh, yes. Nope, here. There. Excuse me. Excuse me, excuse me. Okay. Hmm. 
81%. You're also still growing. Look at my beautiful views here uh, from above the ocean. I got my platform, I got my gantry. Um, now we just need to build the other parts of the actual rocket. Let's get a boot, shall we? Ah. What extra blueprints did I get? Do I have another fish that I can... Okay, this just lets me know what the other things are that I can build so I can check while I'm doing it. Yeah, I need three nickel ore to get that. Which is gonna be interesting. I gotta find it first. Well, I guess things will be built by the time I come back. Let's go do something dangerous. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. Thank you, Neptune. Or whatever you know. Neptune's the other one. This one's Cyclops. Specifically, Goliath. Alright, I'm gonna <coughs> start the Powering engine. Up. And I'm gonna go, um, I'm just gonna explore a little bit. Hopefully we don't die. There's that. I could go down there. And that is a thing that I probably should eventually do. I wonder what just hit us. Probably a sand shark. They're all over the place here. What I actually want to do here is go down to this little um, ridge. Not this ridge, but the other one that we get to as we go. side but I'm maybe in the wrong am I where the fuck am I um there's a bone shark like lost. Don't know what the heck I'm doing. Well, I guess we're going towards uh, the U CTOU's life pod, even though that's not the direction I intended to go. Even a little bit. Whatever. 
some ground. This is not at all where I thought I was going to be, but, uh... Sure. Let's turn the engine, engine off. powering down. Um... And, uh... I guess we'll explore around here? Get some foods. save here just in case and uh, we'll go back up there. Um, probably a good thing to test. And you can get a lot, but you can't store that much, so... have to take it all the way back up, huh? Hmm. That's not great. Engine powering up. got my search for limestone chunks on. It's interesting. I can 
can still see the broken part of my base from here. fast. I almost like the uh, the other thing better. The Seamoth. Um, even though I can't obviously carry a drill machine with me in the Seamoth. Engine powering down. Okay. So there's really no way for me to this guy. Well, lower deck. Okay, so maybe I can from down here. That might make it better. If I go to here, can I see it? Oh, I can. Can I repair it from here? Uh, oops. This. get to its storage. That doesn't actually help me at all. Dang it. <sighs> and if I drop it here, it's just going to sink all the way to the bottom. So I like, have all that silver, but it's trapped in, it, in that inventory. <laughs> Like, at least if I dropped the sea moth, it would drop it right below the ship, presumably. And then I could, uh... Then I could just, uh... Like, repair it, or do whatever. It, I mean, I, it, I could... I'm, it has its own storage, but not for me. Stuff with me really. That's more, like, uh, emergency supplies. Welcome aboard, Captain. Alright, let's see how we're doing here. Can I destroy these yet? I can, good. About nine. Alright, this is where I want the... should be growing there, which it is. And then... Cool. And now let's... plant two back here, and then... Two full beds. Uh, miscellaneous plant and animal. And then we can get rid of this. Alright, well, let's take, um, how far offshore is, uh, how far offshore is this, this 
those limestone chunks. Yeah, far enough that I don't want to go. Um, okay, let's see if we can actually get back towards the base in this thing into shallow enough water that I can drop the guy and get the stuff out of it. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. Maybe we'll switch in the sea moth. Engine we'll see. powering up. Maybe we should just bring the sea moth and eschew this bus of a vehicle. the ridge I was thinking of, I'm pretty sure. And I could get limestone chunks from here. There's the nearest bone sharks. Are they around here somewhere? They probably are. This has got a lot of external lights. See, there were all these floaties. Am I just deeper than I'm used to being? How deep am I? 77 meters, that's not that deep. Oh, well, here's the ridge in question, I guess. I kind of wish 
sure I was doing this in daylight. Is that gonna oblige me? Oh, it is gonna oblige me with the daylight. Yeah, so this is the ridge I was talking about. It's narrow, but it seems to go on for a ways. drop the guy here, we should be able to... we should just land? Yeah, that should be safe. I mean, there's bone sharks, but... relatively speaking. almost his entire dang backpack. It also takes a while to... guy for a little bit then. This is sort of where I had intended to come, as opposed to the last time when I went much deeper than I intended. Okay, like if I follow out this ridge, is this just going to give me maneuverable in the Seamoth, which is more comforting because it means I can run the fuck away better if I need to. Uh, is this the edge of the... No? There's still more. If I fall off, though, I'm gonna fall real far, I think. And this guy is not good at you can continually rise with the sky, it just feels like you can't.
because it takes so long to compensate for it falling because it has a lot of inertia since it's so heavy. to take back to the other base, at least. Okay, see, already we are out of storage. I gotta get it out of his pack anyway. It's a cute idea, the prawn suit, but I don't think it's actually that useful to me. I think I'd rather be in the sea moth than the pair of these. Even though it doesn't feel as, uh... Secure as being in the Cyclops? I guess I could take the Cyclops and the Seamoth as a pair. I could keep putting stuff in here and then keep going back, but. I guess I should do at least one if I'm gonna eat foods to not starve. Take some of this back, we'll make um, some titanium out of it. I go drive this all the way back to the other base and pick up the Seamoth? Seems like that makes the most sense. places.
gonna have to take stuff out of here a little bit at a time. definitely put a, uh, a door on the other side of that as well, since I seem to be wanting to enter from there a lot. Welcome aboard, Captain. Turn some of this salvage into... I was also going to check if after daylight I was uh, able to um, see if that light turns on or not. mushroom there, or, or deep mushroom there. Probably should if I have it. But I assume I probably did. Okay. Oh, just one short. Uh, maybe that's a sign I should build something with it. go exchange stoppy for the sea moth at the other base.
look over here, I don't see a sign of any light there. So even though it's had a day to charge, I don't think my floodlight is working. I think it's power source needs a power source that doesn't work the way the solar panels I think the solar panels work. I really want these floodlights to be on. How would I turn them on? Charge 75 of 75, so if it was going to be charging this, it would be right now. Hmm. That might be something I have to wiki. Ah, oh, well. I should move that beacon to be a little bit more on the corner of the island so that I can aim for it and not accidentally hit the corner of the island during the night. that scanner before I go very deep just so it's not constantly blocking my view with there being a lot of limestone chunks somewhere slightly to the right of the base to hit fewer um, like protrusions in the landscape like that for instance that it's that deep, but it's, you know, reasonable, reasonable depth to be driving a submarine. take the seamoth and the cyclops that can extend my exploration time because I can return to the cyclops to to eat and drink um, and I can return to the cyclops in order to um, unload my inventory into the cyclops uh, storage areas. Cyclops for much else. I mean, it'll it'll help me survive bone sharks, 
It's not going to probably help me survive Reapers, at least not for very long. Um, oops, let's turn the engine off. Engine powering down. Alright, let's see if there's any... Um, these that need taken out. 94, 100, 100. I know there's a bunch of legs here. Just decided not to draw today, huh? Should also say hi to Wilson while we're here. We we can't. We've been neglected, Wilson, for a while. I feel bad. Um, get in the scene on and move uh, it over here. All systems online. And we'll take prom suit. I'm home. How are you doing, Wilson? Everything good? You've been enjoying yourself here? I hope so. I... Let me tell you, I'm like... I know what I need to do next, but it's scary, and I just don't want to do random explore, because it's dark and deep and... Oh, creepy. But you would be brave, right? You would be brave and fearless and you would you would not hesitate. So I guess I will not hesitate either. I will probably hesitate, but I'll do it. I will. Thank you for, for your pep talk, Wilson. I think you you're very courageous and you're you're of course right. You're always right, Wilson. Alright, alright. the sea moth facing the other way. <laughs> it docks the the other guy facing that way, right? Oh no no, I'm just backwards. I'm just turned around. That's fine then. What? What the? What is it? What's that? Powering up. Where's the gold thing on that sonar? Find 
go forward. But what does it think is... Is that the base that it's pinging? Or is that the prawn suit? Maybe that's the prawn suit. I think it's pinging the prawn suit. Okay. Just to say like, hey, by the way, remember your prawn suit's there if you want it. Um, oh, actually, let's not go anywhere um, without um, power cells in our engine. I guess we let those other two chill at the base. That's fine. Hey, it's Ghost Stalker and Kazdrag. How are you doing? Oh, Kazdrag, listen. I uh, you haven't been here, I think, since I got back from the um, Aurora. I I have to show you what I got from the Aurora. You probably got it too, uh, but the fact that you didn't mention it. You did mention the cat poster, but you didn't mention this leads me to make- I need to make sure that you've seen this. Hold on. Uh, where the heck is my base? Um, yeah, over there. It was the plushie! Okay, you did see it. The, uh, the little, like, uh, critter plushie. Okay. Ah, <sighs> I'm doing okay. Um, I'm a little sleepy tonight, I guess. Um, and I know kind of what I need to do next here. Um, yeah, and the ship model. Okay, so you did get both of them. Um, I know what I need to do next here, but I kind of don't want to do the thing, you know? Um, but... I don't know. I totally rehauled my uh, my other base though, so that it's uh, it's a little bit easier to navigate and it's got more space for stuff. And I built the ship's platform and the gantry, and now I need to find where there's nickel. And I I mean I can go into the fossil area. Yeah, yeah. I it seemed like the best place to do it because they make you build it someplace that's deep water and I don't know it just it seemed appropriate like it's a very open expanse um, um, plus I guess I can keep an eye on the gun while I'm doing it <laughs> uh, nah don't tell me I, I know where I, I'm gonna go explore next so I, I'll either find nickel there or I won't I'll find something else and We'll deal with that when I get there, I guess. <laughs> if I go there and I look all around and I don't find nickel, I may ask you, but we'll see. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it, it makes a huge splash. And I'm like, where was that huge splash when the Cyclops <laughs> fell into the, into the thing? God, the Cyclops is so slow. I mean, I guess I could turn the engine up, but... I think flank. Emergency speed. Morning. Vessel cavitating. Excessive noise. Like, does that even do anything? It is creating a lot of noise, Morning. I guess, but... Engine. Overheat. Okay, okay. Let's... Ahead standard. Let's not do Morning. that. Fire detected. Oh, fuck. Okay, so don't do that. Where is the... Oh, shit, I forget where the thing was. I think it's up here somewhere. Here it is. Um... Fire. 
extinguished. Air scrumbers initiated. Why do they even give me that speed then? Yeah, no, it probably is faster than it looks. It just feels very slow, probably because of how big it is. Um, yeah, yeah, if there's something more worrying than fire in the engine. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, like, I think all the things that I could be running away from are drawn to noise. So it seems like making a bunch of noise would be counterproductive. Um, let's turn this off while we're... Engine powering down. Okay. Um, I'm going to turn off this limestone thing so I don't doesn't distract me while I'm down. Welcome aboard, Captain. Oh yeah, I should, probably don't need this window. Probably get rid of that window. But anyway, look, I have this beautiful bedroom with this lovely view. Picture of Wilson. Then I got, like, a food growing room, which only has this for now, but I might put in some more pots later. And then down here is my production room. Um, let's make this number four again. Okay, I actually came down here, though, to... went over to this side for a reason. Yeah, I mean, I guess I could try that. Um, that, that did occur to me. Uh, like, drop the beacon, get the fuck out, and then slow down and let the beacon... Um, not beacon, but the, the decoy, like, take the... The problem is, like, the only way to actually experiment with this is very, very dangerous. Wrong. Oh no, it's inactive. I guess it doesn't take very long to burn through these fruits, which I suppose is should not be surprising. There we go. <laughs> Are they starting to look similar? Well, I mean, you know, there are there are areas that are more, or there are like builds that are just more convenient in terms of accessing the stuff you need. So I guess that makes sense. All right, let's go somewhere that I don't want to be. Let's not do it at night, maybe. Um, let's go sleep, and then we'll go do it. When it's not just starting to be nighttime. Right? Because look at that beautiful sunset going on right there. I mean, I'd, I'd take a tour of your Subnautica base and see what it looks like. That would be interesting to me. Alright. Welcome 
welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. Alright, now we're gonna go somewhere where I don't care to be. We're saving so I can be safe in case I feel unsafe. Hope it doesn't crash while saving our game. Okay. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, that's probably a. Engine powering up. That's probably a good sign, I guess. Like, did you did you super um, did you super speed the engines to get out of there, or did you uh, were you able to just go away at normal speed? going to attract anything in the area because I bet it's loud as fuck. Um, I mean, there's a sound gauge right there letting me know it's loud as fuck, so. Uh, let's do as Skug suggested and drive with the camera so we don't hit, we don't scrape the bottom here. Let's. It's going to be dangerous to get out of here in a hurry. But let's turn off the engine regardless. Engine powering down. Um, oops, did I toggle that back on? I meant to toggle it off, actually. Well, maybe I'll leave the internal lighting on. <laughs> Just to feel safer. goes nothing. Yeah, yeah, no, these are, these are hull cameras, so. Okay. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. Let's go, little Seamoth. Let's go. Now, let's go. Oh, shit. <sighs> For fuck's sake. way to the area that I'm trying to go. <laughs> the dynamic dynamic lighting range sure seems to think so. Yep. Alright, well, here we are. <laughs> this is fine. <laughs> this is fine. <laughs> Those. Is 
that another type of thing I can break? What are you? Oh no, you're a copper ore. Okay, I'd have to come back down with drill friend to get that. strongly about caves. Um, let's... It's not exactly a rise up beacon, but... Um, let's put a cave exit beacon this way sort of thing, just in case I get turned around. in here but like it's it's tight like I have a hard time steering that thing and this is a cave <laughs> so Did I scan I think I scanned those things last time they're like amoeba some things I mean that looks like a leviathan right oh there's a there's a big old jaw there. That's a new thing. That's a new thing that might not kill me. If I can get close to it. Or maybe it's bigger than I think. It's some kind of ghosty prowler. <laughs> doesn't hurt that much. Cool. Fun. Fun times. Let's turn the lights off here so we don't attract unnecessary attention. Fast Agile Predator, Powerful Jaws, avoid it. It will aggressively keep its jaws facing its opponent, but smaller, faster life forms may have the advantage. Okay. What's that straight ahead? I don't know if you can see it on the stream, but there's some kind of like just really solid shape there. The behind the um, Leviathan. I mean, I assume that's a Leviathan. Maybe it's not gonna immediately kill me. That, I don't. Oh no, that's definitely a ghost Leviathan. Okay, so that is a ghost leviathan. Um, yeah, it could just be a shelf. Um, yeah, okay, it's young. That doesn't mean it's still not gonna just fucking eat me in a couple bites. I mean, it looks pretty dang big. I, it's hard to tell how far away it is, but it looks pretty dang big to me, though. Is the thing. I just very quietly went around this way. And this is probably another one of those, like, big resource piles that I can't get. What's this? Is this a different type of resource, or is this the same type of resource? Thank <laughs> you. 
that an egg I don't have? No, that's lithium. Pretty sure that's lithium. Seems like a thing. I might want to scan. If I can. Is it small enough? Oh no. Um, is it small enough that I can gun it? That's the question. If it's small enough that I can gun it, I'm not worried. Uh, if it's not small enough that I can gun it, then I'm fucked. So. <laughs> sounds it makes either. Um, if it's, if I could stun it, I would try and get close enough Welcome to scan aboard, it. Captain. Um, but, deceased. <laughs> Fossilized remains of an extinct super predator. Its sheer size would prohibit it from entering such enclosed space. Yep, yep. Three million years old. Eel-like structure. It's only the front third of the specimen. No, there's a series of precise angular indentations on the ribcage, suggesting a third party has taken samples from a specimen at, the, at a previous time. Can I take samples from a specimen? Can I? Can I use my knife on it? Okay, he's, 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 he's coming back around, but maybe I'll turn around. Did it work? Oh shit, did it work? Shit, did it work? <laughs> oh shit, can I not scan it? Are you not gonna let me scan it in the body? Okay. 
I think it's the like green gas or whatever here at the bottom that's what's injuring me. Um, yeah, something like that. Uh, okay, do I want to? Hey, what's Leviathan Juvenile? Oh, very nice of it to. No, that's a different thing. Um, It didn't seem like I could get anything off of that skull. I mean, maybe I fucked it up, but uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to the Cyclops at least and get a food and drink and come back. Is that just quartz? Yeah, it's just quartz. You can get a lot of. Uraninite here, apparently, if you need to. If I'm doing a nuclear reactor, I'll know where to come to get nuclear material, I guess. Um, I'll maybe leave the beacon here for now, because I think I'm going to come back. I don't. Uh, I think this is not going to be my sole trip here. considered bringing the prawn suit down, but I don't like how slow it is and how difficult it is to maneuver, especially upwards. Because I need to be able to rise upwards quickly in order to feel safe. <laughs> so I decided to bring the Seamoth instead. Yes, exactly. It's probably going to be incredibly noisy. Online. Okay. Let's go eat some bulbos. Deposit the one diamond I collected. gets damaged, um, I can't repair it without dropping it. And if I drop it, it falls all the way to the floor. 
So I can't drop it unless I'm hovering over the seafloor, basically. Um, and the same is true if I just want to get stuff out of its little backpack. Like, I have to go to... Oh, this is further down, huh? Is there a higher-up version of those? Keeps. Let's do my normal technique of hover by the side of the cave until um, you get to something interesting. ghosty trees? I don't think I ever actually tried. Um, no, it won't let me scan these for some reason. Okay, well... boy here. But I don't have to me. That looks like just a normal shale or even limestone. Shale, yeah. Got a lot of quartz here. I mean, I can pick up the quartz, I guess. good to 900 feet, so I can't actually go that much deeper than this. Yeah, I think this is about as deep as I can go. Um, because I think that next layer down is going to be about 900. Alright, well... that question. I mean, it's a pretty cool environment. Um, but I don't offhand see any new minerals that I don't already have can get in safer locations. What about up here? Anything interesting up here? Is that just the skull platform? samples of that because it didn't seem like I could. Maybe if I come in here with Stompy I can drill it and get some samples. 
Um, that's a thing that I might ask for real. Um, is that a thing that I can do if I come in here with Stompy? Can I drill the skull to get some fossil sample? Or is that not a thing that you've tried? Uh, where's the beacon? There it is. I haven't tried drilling fossil. Okay. Welcome aboard, Captain. Alright, well... That's all the exploring I'm going to do there for today. Oh, there's another place I could go where there's some reapers nearby. <laughs> uh, which... will uh... Magnetite. Um, with some, yeah, big, big old reaper leviathans where I can get myself uh, pretty well. I think I'm already growing deep shrooms at this base, but I'm just gonna double check. I mean, while I'm here, there's just all of this quartz. Uh, might as well, right? my 25 windows, right? <laughs> right, there's a warper right there. Well, hopefully she'll let me get back into my pod so I can at least get oxygen before she creeps me elsewhere. Well. She disappeared. Which probably means she's right behind me! Okay. Quartz, quartz, quartz. Quartzy, quartz, quartz. Yeah, there she is. Right in front of me, in fact. Hi, please ignore me. I'm going. Fuck. Okay, sure, warp those little cave guys right in front of me. That's fine, I guess. Um, yeah, that's a lot of quartz. By the way, the the how long to beat on this game says completion full completionist run 56 and a half hours. When I started playing tonight, I'd already played 53 hours. So <laughs> <laughs> my uh, my playtime is not typical, I'm guessing. Yeah, I mean, like I'm I'm not spending a lot of time actually moving the story forward in any way. <laughs> Or at least I haven't been up until this point, so I could see kind of where that comes in. All right, well. Engine powering up. This port's back. Um, did I save? I think I just saved, but just in case. Um, I am going to take this back to base. Then I'm gonna go maybe to the place with the other, with the Reaper Leviathan, 
um, and the, the there's a couple wrecks there that uh, would be good to investigate if I can do it safely. Yeah, I bet. I bet no glitch speedruns of this are... And I do actually want to look up some speedruns of this once I've finished it so I won't be spoiled. <laughs> I didn't really have to put the stuff in storage, but it seems like a good habit to cultivate. Engine powering down. All right. Boop, boop, ba doop. check to make sure that I didn't already plant ghost mushrooms here that I, that I did already plant ghost mushrooms here yeah we've got a fair number oh not this again really don't have enough space for all of this quartz. Um, what's in here? Misc? I guess my quartz overflow can go in there. <laughs> Perfect. Except, of course, I don't have space for the magnetite, but... Magnetite can go in wealth, I guess. end up creating a power cell charger in here somewhere? I probably ought to do that. Um, I was gonna put it in here, I think. Wiring kit, ruby, titanium. Um, I guess I need the advanced wiring kit first. So here's for regular wiring kit. And I'm gonna need two golds and a computer chip, which means like three golds. I think. One, two, three. One, two. Alright, thanks, Ghost Stalker, for coming. Good to see you. Your presence is much appreciated. Now 
we'll see you around. Oh, and table coral samples. Let's look in that one first by accident. Ruby and um, where the heck is a power cell charger? There we go. Two ruby, two titanium. like actually on the place where I want you to build. No, you're gonna build that far away from the wall, huh? What if I put you here? That's a terrible place for it anyway. Um it build so far away from the wall? Um, I mean, is it does it look that way when I finish building it? If I build this, is it just gonna hover like that? Yeah, it's just gonna hover like that bothers me. That bothers me a lot more than it probably should. <sighs> Is this actually dawn? I thought it was dusk, but it may actually be dawn. Alright, that's a good time to head back to other base. I mean, it doesn't bother me that the power cell charger thing takes up so much room. It bothers me that it's like six inches away from the wall. It's just like floating in midair. Um, it like breaks my immersion. <laughs> I know that's like a stupid thing to say, but it does. straight to the uh, the warper's wreck and the deep cliff wreck. Um, 
because this, this way I would be approaching it from the correct side, uh, which is the side without the Reaper. nine though I don't really want to go much later than this I guess we'll see if I can handle this wreck and then we'll quit for the night stop when we get maybe like two to three hundred meters away I think being troublesome. Like they do. the engine, engine powering so down. not make as much noise, um, and we're gonna eat something so that we're at maximum abilities. Okay, and then we're gonna save in case we need to panic. do this. We are zen. It's just a video game. Worst thing that happens is we lose some progress. Let's put the gun on five just in case. Okay, these two are both sealed. This one is sealed. This one is sealed and has a sand guy by it. box.
head, apparently. That's a peeper. suit. That's not interesting. Um, got that. Got that already. Um, some microscope. Yeah, yeah. Vials, etc. Makers, uh, drill arm fragment, which I definitely have. Power cell fragment. Some, yeah, these guys I could have gotten if I didn't already have them. Well, that was kind of a bust. further to the Warper's Wreck, which is closer even to the Reaper territory. <laughs>
Got another cap. Incompatible with protective environmental suits. Uh, as one might expect. Oh, and uh... Back one of these beacons as well. I don't need... It's good. If you are still looking for nuclear waste disposal, there was definitely a couple nuclear waste disposal canisters in there. Um, just FYI. Rig for silent running. just run into it. Fucking A. Shit. Nah, I'm not doing this tonight. It's my bedtime. <laughs> I think that was the Reaper. <laughs> but we're fine. We're fine. We're going back to base. We're fine. I put a decoy out. We've left. We're okay. Left. This is a generous euphemism for running with your tail. I ran the fuck away. I ran away so hard. Bravely. bravely. I bravely ran away. Yep. ghost, huh? I mean, I know that there's, I know for sure there's a reaper around that uh, particular wreck because when I swam there in the little sea moth, I was able to see it in the distance. Um, so I suspect it to be um, my friend the reaper, but who knows? It could be, uh, could be a ghost as well, I suppose.
engine powering down. fix that how, how how do i fix how to fix can fix from outside no it seemed like the health it seemed like the health um automatically refilled when I was looking at the gauge earlier. Oh wait, that seems to say where the damage is. It's up at the back of this fin. Somewhere, there it is. Okay, so you gotta find the spot where it's harmed and fix it. Well, okay, so that Leviathan took a chunk out of me. Whichever Leviathan it was. Are we fixed? Are we good? Okay, we're good. <laughs> we fixed it. need to take out any other of these to charge. Hundreds, yes, seven. Take that. Ninety-four. I'll take this ninety-four. Why not? How are you doing? You're at ninety-one. Let's get you repaired as well. open parking area that I made and we will put on our repair doohickey and repair you Whew. okay welcome aboard captain um, one thing I should do in addition to charging these power cells is uh, get my this guy out of storage so I can put him in with the uh Yeah, that's right. I got some titanium and I put it in the Cyclops' storage, which is all the way back over there. You know what? I'm not going to worry about it right now. Uh, as I said before, it's my bedtime. So I'm going to go say goodnight to Wilson. And then we will call it a night. Wilson, I'm so sorry. I got attacked by a leviathan. And it hurt my Cyclops, but I got away. So, you know, it's not all bad. But I was very scared. I gotta tell you, I was quite frightened. Um, I I'm gonna have to probably go back there at some point. But I don't know, the other wreck over there didn't really give me much. I guess I'm just gonna have to go deeper. I'm gonna have to find a place where I can just go deep. Um, but we'll figure that out next time. So, have a good night, Wilson. Alright, and good night to you as well. Thanks for coming. Appreciate you hanging out. Um, 
Same time tomorrow, most likely. We'll see. As always, it depends on how I feel, but likelihood is fairly high. So, yeah. See you around. Bye.